Firstly, can I put it on the record of my own personal interest? I am a postmaster myself of eight years in my own constituency, uh, and I suppose fourth generation, uh, lucky enough to serve the community that we do serve. Um, can I also put it on record, and with absolutely and utterly no disrespect uh, to Minister Perry, I am disappointed uh, that Minister, uh, with direct responsibility for this area, is not here. Uh, the moving of topical debates to this time in the day was to facilitate the relevant line minister to be present uh, to hear the concerns, in particular of opposition TDs, because government TDs have their opportunity at parliamentary party meetings to talk with the relevant ministers about concerns they may have. And I'm very, uh, extremely disappointed in, in, in that regard. And I would hope and I would expect that Minister Perry will bring back uh, the concerns that I raised here today, and I would expect a direct reply from the relevant minister. Minister, you are probably aware, you know yourself, you are representing a community of the great anxiety that there is out there among the public who utilise their local post office, uh, the future of which is far from certain uh, given the Department of Social Protection's desire to move the social welfare payments uh, to electronic payments. If this happens, on post, uh, will, uh, if, if on post loses this contract, in the region of 50% of their network uh, will be unviable. And I'm un unashamedly supportive of OnPost uh, and the pivotal role and the pivotal service it provides the community it serves, be it in rural Ireland or it be in urban Ireland. The OnPost network enjoys possibly one of the best confidence of brand in our country. And can I just say in relation to rural Ireland, rural Ireland has seen a severe reduction in the services uh, in the last number of years. We have seen the closure of Garda stations, we have seen the withdrawal of the community welfare officer going out to the rural community, we have seen the forced amalgamation of small schools, and we have seen rural, po uh, rural pubs uh, closing down. All of this happening as a direct result of government policy or as a lack of support uh, from government. And we have also witnessed the closure of sub uh, branches of our banking. Now, that can't be laid at the blame of the government. That's a commercial decision. On July the 16th of this year, there were statements on the future of the post office network here in this House. And TDs from all sides of the House came in and spoke glowingly in terms of the service uh, on post provides the communities to serve. But what we don't need is platitudes or niceties or words of encouragement. Uh, what we need is action. And I believe that uh, the, the Department of Social Protection has a crucial role to play in the future sustainability of our post office network. And I acknowledge uh, that Minister Burton has deferred the tender going out to the first quarter of 2014, but in the intervening period, she does need to conduct a cost-benefit analysis to see how this would benefit the Exchequer, both economically and socially. And I think there needs to be a cross-departmental working group set up with the Department of Communications, Justice, Local Government, uh, Public Expenditure Reform, because on post, uh, a state-owned agency is underutilised. And the Postmasters Union themselves commissioned a report uh, by Grant Thornton, which looked at ways in which uh, they could better better serve the community and looked at ways in which they could enhance the services they provide. They could be given a license, uh, a banking license, to ensure that they operate as a bank. Um, they could be, uh, they could utilise the post office network as a citizen's information bureau. The Gardaí, where the Garda stations have closed down, could be using uh, the post office network as a one-stop shop. In terms of from public expenditure reform and we see a reduction of staff in the various councils, the people could go in and pay their car tax, pay their fines, renew their driving licence, all in the post office network. So there is an opportunity there to ensure that the on post network is viable going into the future, while at the same time reducing costs for the state. Thanks, and I would hope that Minister Perry would bring this back to the Minister, Minister Burton. Because at a very short notice, I collected 3,000 signatures in a part of my constituency of people who were afraid of losing their post office and who were calling on this government 
to take direct Thanks, action Deputy. to support the future of our post office network. Minister, four minutes. I'd like to thank Deputy Troy for raising this very important issue on behalf of Minister Burton, who regrets she cannot be here this evening, but be assured that she will be very uh, she'll be totally aware of the issues that you've raised. The concerns raised by the Deputy have been raised by other colleagues here in the House, and I'm happy to uh, allay some of the, their concerns by setting out the Department's plan to modernise the payment of welfare on a progressive basis over the coming years. The Department is a key player in the payment service sector in Ireland, during being the largest issuer of EFT payments in the country, given the scale of cash payments uh, dispersed weekly. The decisions made by the Department about how payments are made to customers impacts on the state, most notably in relation to costs. The Department has undertaken a root and branch examination of its payment processes, methods and approaches, and this resulted in the preparation of a payment strategy, which was approved recently by Government. And the strategy has the goal of reducing uh, significantly the level at which welfare payments are made in cash. At present, 50% of all social welfare payments are dis uh, dispersed in cash. This amounts to approximately 9.5 billion dis uh, distributed over um, 43.7 million transactions last year. Uh, the analysis undertaken for the, uh, for the payment strategy indicates the very significant uh, variation in the cost of different payment methods and the movement of cash imposes a uh, security risk on co uh, customers and staff alike who handle distribute and receive uh, those, these monies. Cash limits, uh, uh, cash limits and the options for customers to make onward transactions limits the scope for customers to avail of cheaper price, uh, prices online and curtails financial inclusion of customers. The move to digital transactions is in line with wider uh, government policies and the objectives on better pu public services and more effective e-payments are set out in the Public Service uh, Reform Plan and e-government strategy 2012-2015. The goal is, to, is also shared by the National uh, Payment Plan and the rollout out of the standard bank account. These initiatives have made the, the case quite strongly for a move to electronic payments which will contribute to improve national uh, competitiveness. Cost containment and cost efficiencies must be sought by all public bodies and as it relates to the Department it requires us to examine the means through which all welfare pay services are delivered including the payment processes. The payment strategy is a multi-phase strategy that will be implemented over a number of years and the first phase has commenced and the contract negotiations are currently underway with and pushed for the provision of, uh, uh, of over-the-counter cash services. Uh, this will ensure that customers can continue to receive their payments in cash at local post offices for the foreseeable future. It provides an insurance, uh, an insurance in, the, in the continuity of cash payments uh, to, uh, to customers for up to six years while other aspects of the strategy are progressing. The, the next phase of the strategy will be the progressive migration of customers to electronic funds, EFT payments. This, the, this move up to electronic payments for social welfare transactions is a, a trend that has been apparent for some time and we have seen most new social welfare uh, customers, aside from job seekers, are, cho are choosing EFT as the preferred method of payment. And the department does not intend migrating high, higher risk customers to the electronic payment until appropriate and robust measures are defined and fully implemented to, to uh, mitigate any potential for increased risk of fraud within the electronic payments environment. Undoubtedly, a loss to the, in the current revenue stream from social welfare payments would impact uh, on, with unpushed. Uh, I, I understand that the, in anticipation of the increased use of EFT generally, Amposhth has prepared and implemented a strategy which aims to address the reality of increased use of electronic payment methods within the economy. On the revenue side, Amposhth has made significant progress in developing new commercial opportunities with, with, with other financial and payment institutions and insurance service bodies, notably EIB Bank, uh, Danske Bank, Aviva. New lines of uh, business have been generated, such as foreign exchange, where on post now holds 30 per cent of the domestic foreign exchange business, and post offices uh, were also used as payment channel for the, the property tax. 
I can, I can assure uh, that my colleague, uh, Minister Rebbit, envisages a, a strong future uh, for the post office network, uh, where it, it remains a key player as, as a front office provider for government services. The, the, the Department is happy to continue to work with the, with the post office who will deliver um, excellent and trusted service to customers. I wish to assure the House and the Deputy that the phase move to electronic payments and, and that the fact they are, uh, are the preferred bidder for the cash service contract subject to contract would provide uh, the Board of Amherst with the time necessary to ensure that their network and Minister, services Minister, I'll have to stop you there. Um, and continue. And, um, I'll come back to you for the supplemental, if that's all right. Um, Deputy, just two minutes. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Well, Minister, I'm quite worried, as you said yourself and alluded to in your speech, 50% of the payments are cash payments. And that's choice. People chose 50% of their payments to go in and collect them to the rural post office for whatever reason, for fear of the bank, uh, for convenience, whatever reason. And that, in a local community, uh, supports the other local businesses, the shops, the grocers, the butchers, petrol station, that's very welcome uh, cash inflow into the local community that it serves. But you're talking about a strategy, and the strategy has a goal of reducing significantly the level of which welfare payments are made of cash. That's a strategy this government has. And they also have a strategy that will be progressive migration of customers to electronic funds transfer payments. If that happens, if that happens, the future of 50% of our post office network is gone, finished, along with all the other services that we've seen eroded in rural Ireland over the last number of years. And this government can make policy de decisions that will support uh, the post office net network. We've seen what happened in rural England and parts of England where their post office network went. This is more than just simple economics. It's about a social service in a community. And if uh, the government is of the mind to listen to the Grant Thornton report that was commissioned by the Postmasters Union and listen to the suggestions that they have made in terms of how they can enhance the services that they provide and look at giving a, a, out a banking licence that so people could choose to get the money paid into a bank and then maybe go into their local post office and withdraw it. Or look at uh, on posters working on an e-payments card which would facilitate electronic payments. But they need the support of the government. It's a state-owned agency. It is underutilised at the moment. And I do believe, and I would hope, that Minister Rabbit and Minister Burton seem to have difficulties at the moment, that they could put them aside and ensure uh, that they work together, along with the other relevant departments, as I said, justice, um, local government, and public expenditure reform, to bring about a strategy, a robust strategy, to ensure that one of our pillar services in our community Thanks, is Deputy. maintained and it doesn't go like so many of the other services have gone in the last number of years. Thanks, Deputy. Gone, never to be seen again. Well, Minister, we're a little bit over time. It, it, there is an overall strategy here, but the, the strategy there would be a multi-phase strategy. But the final end of the strategy is the cash element of it. So there's a very a reassurance that's there for six years. And I've no doubt with the transformation with the post office services right around the country, there's a lot of the, the massive change that's taking place with e-commerce with the post offices currently. They're offering a huge level of services uh, and obviously it's facilitating a huge level of banks at the moment. So the, I think the element of uh, the government is fully very supportive of the, uh, the network of post offices who do a fantastic job in, in a very in a, in a critical service. So I think, the, uh, I think you'd be very assured that I would no doubt say uh, uh, that uh, the whole, yeah, but you have to move with a certain level of technology as you I would, would appreciate. But I've no doubt the, the post office themselves in the next, in this strategy will be allowed to develop uh, their own concepts that will uh, maybe move with the concept that allow for cash payments or whatever method. But the fact is 9.7 billion with 43 million transactions currently going through and that is assured for the next six years. It's, it just shows you the, the modern organisation approach has been taken by the government with the post office network. But I think in any sense it won't diminish the role of post offices in any it would only expand the services which they're now multi and varied. And there's a lot more services uh, with the e commerce technology that's coming on board that will enhance the personal service given by postmasters right around the country. So reassure the deputy the concerns you have raised will be brought to the Minister Rabbit and Minister Burton's attention. But I think that you can be it's uh, the post office network is very much part of the government plan of continuing service to the consumer.